Turtles, turtles everywhere, and not a blasted ninja among them. Ow! Ow! Ouch! Ouch! Ooh. So, uh, the first question, were you a fan of the original comic? And, uh, if not, how did you hear about the show when it came about? Um, I didn't know anything about the comics. Um, by then, I was just here trying to get a job as an actor. And uh, I had worked on a voice on a uh, on Hannah at Hanna Barbera on a live action series that they were doing, and one of the people they recommended that I get an agent. And one of the first jobs I got was on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hmm. I know you've done a few other uh, voice actors voice acting jobs since then. I know you were on the Real Ghostbusters once. Yeah. And uh, I think you were on Disney's Aladdin. Yeah. But the Turtles was your first show. That. Well, no, it wasn't my first, as a matter of fact. It was my first big show. Oh, okay. I guessed it on some other things, but I, you know, I went in for an audition for that and got it, and that was great. Hmm. And uh, the second question, uh, did the voice of Shredder go through any changes, and did the producers have a specific uh, type of voice they were looking for? Well, I'm sure they did, but they didn't know what it was, and nobody else did either. That's how they kind of cast things here. Hmm. <laughs> you know, nobody <laughs> knows. Uh, and... It just got into the acting. The acting helped the voice. The acting helped the voice. I guess it did change. It got a little clearer, a little smoother later on. Okay. Um, the third question. The pilot is probably one of the most loved shows out of all the series. Do you have any uh, favorite episodes or favorite lines through the ten years? Oh, my God. I, I can't <laughs> possibly remember all that. I, You know, I enjoyed doing the show. I enjoyed being with the other people. It was just it was fun. It was a not non-pressured fun thing with with very talented funny people and it was just a great experience because <laughs> i have all these shows on tape i probably watch it more often than you'd get the chance to yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i hope these don't sound too much like fan questions no that's okay um okay the uh fourth question um uh, in the first two seasons shredder and crying were basically uh conflicting with each other they weren't really getting along and they had a lot of arguments and during later episodes, they started to work together a little more as a team. Did you find any relationship better than the other, or enjoyed playing which one more? Well, I always like conflict. I always like having the conflict, but that can only carry you so far. Then every relationship, everything has to evolve mm -hmm. and turn into something else. You can't keep playing one note all the time. Yeah, it gets kind of tiring after a while, I guess. Yeah, it does. I mean, you know, you know what to do, you know what's expected. So it's nice to bring in a change. And uh, that, when it changed in that season, it was great, though. We, we enjoyed that. I know I sound like a Pollyanna, like, <laughs> but I really did it. We really enjoyed the whole thing. It said it was like you, the actors liked it a little bit more when it was confrontation because it yeah. seemed to be a bit more fun. Yeah. Um, okay, number five. Uh, what was it working like with Pat Fraley and Rob Paulson and the rest of the cast? It, it was, was insane. <laughs> Pat Fraley is insane. They're all crazy. Pat Fraley is one of the funniest men I've ever seen in my life. I've talked to him a few times over email. Seems like a really nice guy, too. Oh, he is. He's a great guy and totally insane. Was it a serious bunch of people to work with, or did you goof off a lot? Oh, we goofed. We <laughs> goofed a lot, but you got the work done. Was, it a, was there any uh, bloopers or stuff like that that might have been recorded? <laughs> Not yet to work. Yeah, I'm sure there's an X-rated Ninja Turtle somewhere out there. I don't know if you've heard of her or not, but there's Thundercat bloopers that are pretty much X-rated, where they swear a lot whenever they goof a lot. Oh, yeah. And I was wondering if there was anything like that that might have been recorded for the Turtles cast. Oh, I'm sure there is. I don't, you know, but I don't know if, uh, if Blue has it or not. <laughs> uh, was the cast always during, together during the recording, and does it help to have performances from the other actors to work off of? It always did, but I was doing another, a lot of different shows, so sometimes we'd have to come in at different times to record things. But it's always better when you can have the whole cast together so we can play off each other. And uh, are there any uh, ad libs that were kept in or any changes to the script made during the show? Oh, yeah, there were. Sometimes there were. Sometimes a line would work better or Pat Fraley would come up with something, or Rob, or somebody would come up with something that was funnier, and, and we had the freedom to throw that in sometimes. Okay. Uh, let's see. During the course of the show, there were lots of lost episodes, like the ones where the turtles traveled to Europe. And um, were there any, and there was recently a bunch of scripts discovered that were registered, but I guess were never filmed. There was one titled Shredder in Love, for instance. Uh -huh. um, were there any shows that were filmed that you know of that haven't aired yet? Um, I don't know. I know that there's a, there's a new Ninja Turtle thing come out. Yeah, the 2003 show. Yeah. 
So, and uh, amazingly, I got to audition for Shredder and didn't get the job. So. Oh, you did? <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know. I asked uh, uh, Cam Clark if he wanted to do the role of Leo in the new show, and I know he wants to do it, too. You uh, would love to come back to it. They never, they didn't use any of us. Ah, I was hoping they would, too, because it was such a great cast in the first show. Oh, it was. It really was. We thought so. And I also suggested to the guy who plays the new Leonardo, whose name escapes me at the Bike Center Nicholas, I think it is, mm -hmm. that they should do a reunion show, like a 20th anniversary show with both the new and old cast. And he said he would suggest it to the producers, so I don't know if anything like that would come about. No, no, producers don't listen to shit. <laughs> but it would I'm sorry. It would definitely they don't listen to anything. They think they know everything. <laughs> definitely be fun, though. Oh, it would be great. Yeah, both, and I know there was a new Krang on the... They have a new character called Krang on the new show, too, but it was a different voice actor. Yeah, yeah. Well, most of the, most of the actors are different. <laughs> um, okay, uh, ninth question. Since you left the show, you've had uh, three replacements. Did you have any input on who replaced you doing the voice? Uh, no, I didn't. And I didn't... Um... I, I think our contract just ran out. We didn't let it leave the show necessarily. Oh, because I was wondering why you left the show. During, I mean, 1993 was when the voice changed over to a new guy. Uh -huh. It was like halfway through the season. And I was wondering why, if you left the show to do uh, Fresh Prince more, or... Well, I was working on Fresh Prince then, and it became increasingly difficult to get in. Yeah, I was just wondering if you might have gotten tired of the show and wanted to change or something. I... Hey, Neil, I'm an actor. I do not get tired of work. <laughs> I oh, was just wondering. You never know. <laughs> we do not get tired of work. <laughs> okay. Um, and would you be willing to record the episode you missed for an extra DVD audio track if they asked you to? Sure. Because I know that some of the other actors would, and it's just not the same without the entire cast there. I would do anything to be with the entire cast. It sort of throws... I mean, Raphael had a different voice actor in the last season. The guy was good, but it just wasn't Rob Paulson. Oh, uh, no. Okay. Um, you recently had a job on the Enterprise show as a Klingon warrior. Yeah. What was the makeup process for the Klingons like, and what was the atmosphere on the show, knowing that this was probably the last season of Enterprise? Well, I don't, you know, we still had a good time. The makeup process was amazing. It was three hours to take it, to put it on and an hour to take it off. Hmm. Is that and, uh, the atmosphere was fine. It was, you know, we're professionals, so you, you do your work. You still do the best you can, you know, irregardless. It's rumored that the uh, crew of the Enterprise is uh, pretty much a gag group of uh, jokesters. Oh, yeah, there they any, are. Were they there, are. Were there any... Scott Bakula was insane. He's crazy. <laughs> were there any pranks pulled on the set that you can remember? Oh, yeah. There were, there were a number of pranks pulled, especially for me. It was funny because I, you know, they didn't have boots to fit me. The boots that I had were three sizes too big, <laughs> you know, and like three inches high with a hook on the top of them, and I kept tripping and stumbling and... Mm. <laughs> that doesn't sound too good. And especially with the makeup, was it hard to see in the makeup? The makeup wasn't a problem necessarily. It was the, the prosthetic teeth. Mm-hmm. So I heard the. Hard to get your to get your you know your lines around those teeth. The so one had to practice with that. And you probably had fake teeth too, because I think some of the alien actors have fake teeth put in. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Fake oh, okay. teeth. They were fake teeth. It was a bridge. Oh okay. Um. Next question. The um, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was ta always taped in front of a live audience, right? Always. And um, do the actors live off the performance of a good audience, or if the, a joke fails, does that affect the performance any? It's like theater. It is theater, as a matter of fact, and it, it always helps. And hopefully you've worked out those bugs before you're in front of an audience, and if a joke fails, it's okay. But the difference is Fresh Prince wasn't based on jokes. A lot of the sitcoms now are joke, set up, joke, set up, joke. Mm -hmm. Fresh Prince wasn't. A situation comedy is a situation comedy because the comedy comes out of the situation. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? I think so, yeah. Okay. So so it was a situation that was a few, the funny thing and how we reacted to it. And it, and so that just kind of worked out all the time. Sort of like if an actor la tries not to laugh at a line that he knows is really funny and the audience sees that and they react to it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. Is there any other type of acting you prefer? Is Do you like voice acting better or live acting or stage acting? I like it all. I like it all. I like to work. 
Okay. Um, is there one show you would love to guest star in that you haven't been approached for, or one show you see like a live action series or a? Oh, I'd love to do uh, 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 Law and Order. Law and Order, yeah, that's. Yeah, a, I'd love to do that. That seems like it could be a fun show to be on. Yeah, or or uh, Stargate. Oh, Stargate, I haven't seen. That would be fun. Okay. And um, are there any, I guess this is the final question, but um, are there any future projects you're going to be in? Perhaps like a return to Enterprise if there is a fifth season? Well, if there is, I probably will be, I'll be in, but they scheduled me for, you know, rather uh, sign me for some if they come through. Um, and I don't know, I'm still waiting to see what's going on, you know, it's, we just start here kind of looking around. Okay. Always going out on auditions and looking for stuff. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Okay. And uh, there's two follow-up things I would like to let you know about. The uh, I have a website called Ninja Turtles Network, uh -huh. and we have a message board there where we let the try and let the fans and the actors interact with each other. Uh -huh. And we'd love it if you drop by for a while. I don't know if you have the time to do it or not. Uh, when would that be? Uh, any time is good for you. We have uh, you can register up any time. It's free to register. And you can post anywhere you want. Just let us know, and we'll make you a moderator on the board so people know, know it's you. Okay. And uh, that's it. Okay. And we have three of the voice actors from the new show there. The guy who plays Leonardo, the guy who plays Donatello, and the guy who plays Baxter Stockman. So hopefully it should be fun. Mm-hmm. And uh, the last thing, um, is there any way you might be able to record a voice greeting for my site? A voice greeting? Yeah, like a like when people click on the site, they'll hear your voice come up and say, "Welcome to the site." Uh, yeah, I, I don't know how to do all that. I'm a technophobe. So. Oh, I I got a recording here right now. All you, all you have to do is speak the uh, reading, and it'll record automatically, and I'll do the rest. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, anything? If there's anything you'd like to say for it, like uh, "Welcome to Ninja Turtles Network," or something like that. Okay. And maybe something in Shredder's voice, like the home of those wretched reptiles, maybe? Okay. Okay, um, anytime you're ready, and it's recording, so. Welcome to Shredder's... Uh, ha, 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 ha. Welcome to... Din mm. Welcome <laughs> to Ninja Turtle... Ninja Turtle work Network? Ninja Turtles network? network. Welcome to Ninja Turtle Network. The home of those wretched reptiles. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Okay. Okay, that was it. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.